Okay, here we have a train tech um, point accessory decoder for solenoid point motors. Um, I've been asked by a couple of people about how to program this with the Z21. Um, so I thought I'd do this short video of how we do that. Um, it's very straightforward. Um, we'll show you that in the Z21 app, which we'll get up in a second. Okay guys, so uh, here we've got the Train Tech PC2 um, accessory decoder now linked up to the Z21 um, and a solenoid uh, point motor. Um, so DCC feed in from the main line, output on the back of the Z21. You'll see that um, the little red lights are all on on every channel. Okay. Um, so this is now ready. Um, and so we need to program this um, this unit to give the digital address outputs that we want. Um, the first thing we have to do in the app is give us those accessory addresses. Okay. So this is the home screen of the Z21 app. We go into the app. At the moment, I have only two. Um, accessories okay um, if I press this we get two throttles if to get this up you press this button and it goes from the throttle to the accessory board and if you press that it makes it full screen let's just go back a minute um, so track control settings here's where we add in our um, accessories you want so let's go into here uh, we want to control an item so now it's put up a new accessory. I'm going to give it an accessory address of five. Okay, and get done. So now you see here the number is five for this. You can configure the output. Okay. Um, so if you've installed the the, the point motor and done all the wiring and connected it up to your device and the point is going the wrong way on the screen to as it is on the layout rather than swap wires over you can remap this Oops. so I can swap the mapping over so it will then switch the other way okay so that would be the opposite way around if I then put it back Okay, that's back to normal. It's a DCC decoder. So this is a DCC um, accessory decoder. So we want it in DCC mode, okay? Now this has um, four outputs, so we need four turnouts. So at the moment, we've just got the one, okay? So if we now press add and control, it will add another one and it has put it over the top of it exactly over the top so if I move it out of the way and again because we've got one two it put this one to three so I'll put this now to six I'm done so now we've got two turnouts and they are five and six okay and like I say we can move them so we can put five six if you want another one, and we got seven and one more. Oops, I, now that's a root, I don't want that. Hit delete, control, eight. So now we have four turnouts for our four outputs of this accessory decoder, okay? So this is how we set up um, the accessories in the Z21 app. So if we come now back out and we go into the driving screen, there they are. You can see that the four here. Uh, so we're halfway there. Now we've just got to program this unit. So output one is five, output two is six, seven, eight. Okay, very simple. <coughs> okay, so to program it, we press the button, learn button, they all start flashing. So we want to fire the first address first, so that is five. Mm 
Okay, there we go. So now the lights have stopped flashing. Um, now this one I've got in the second output, so it should be the second address. There we go. If you let this thing charge a bit, it, um, it's quite slow reacting. You can't keep pressing it. So, that's one way. Let it charge and throw it the other. Okay? It is as easy as that to set it up. I hope this is helpful.